Shalom Harim. Uh, wait a minute. Shalom Harim. That's okay, you can come on in. I'm just doing a quick thing for me here. Shalom Chavrim. Uh, just want to give you a quick update. Uh, we have, and I'm kind of looking on the screen here, Sister Mina Lee uh, from Faithful Walk Healing Ministry sent me an email. Uh, and we've actually been talking about this, an event that will be going on this Friday. It is a live program. Uh, Watchmen on the Wall Conference, and this will be taking place on Friday, October the 18th at 8.30 p.m. through 11.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, the, uh, uh, the event is hosted by Sister Mina Lee uh, with Faithful Walk Healing Ministries. You can call uh, to join us, a live call-in uh, number at area code 712-432-0375. The access code, and I'll post this on the screen for you, is 249578 and the pound sign. Uh, the special guests will be including Prophetess Annette Bridges with Graceful Strength Ministries, uh, Lula, Bonnie Smith, uh, Watchers on the Wall 7, Evangelist Michael Parker, Fire of the Holy Ghost Broadcasting Network, real precious brother, love brother Michael, uh, and some guy called Rabbi Who. Oh, no, that's Brother Steve Ben Danoon. I guess that's me. <laughs> so, Danoon Institute of Biblical Research uh, at IsraelReturns.com. And uh, Minister Gary Lee with Jesus, uh, excuse me, Christ Jesus Discipleship uh, Ministries. So I hope you guys are able to attend this Friday. Uh, I'll be there. I'll be the guy that's really quiet in the background while I listen to all these uh, wonderful brothers and sisters speak about the Lord and the great things that he is doing and uh uh, I know this, this program here is going to be dealing with the current events, Bible prophecy, and preparing the bride of Christ for his soon return, something I certainly believe that we are nearing that time. Um, so I hope you're able, like I said, to tune in, uh, join us there. I know it's going to be uh, very insightful and, and very encouraging. A lot of things are happening. Uh, and by Friday, there's no telling what all will be happening. I'm really curious myself as well, Brother Gary Lowry, who uh, those of you that may not know him, uh, Bear049 is his YouTube channel. Gary does, uh, has, God deals with him a lot in dreams. And uh, he's had one uh, that he's shared with me quite a few months ago that we're about to see what's going to happen on I believe that's Friday, October the 18th as well, when the moon will be at Penumbra. Uh, that's a type of a lunar eclipse. I uh, forget exactly how that's caused. But something is to take place in Israel during this time. And Gary was not quite sure how to interpret the dream, but it looks like some type of uh, large attack, a possibly a chemical attack near the Syrian border uh, in the Golan Heights area there. And, um, and it may be, Gary said he wasn't sure, he couldn't tell from the dream if it'll actually be Israel or, or the Syrians or if someone else sets it off as a rogue thing. But he said a lot of people were, will be killed as a result of that. Um, you guys know my feelings on dreams and visions, and that is if they come to pass, and certainly we know God is with the people. If they don't, then, uh, ouch, I don't want to go there right now, but I think it's serious. I've seen a lot of Brother Gary's dreams that he has shared with me over the last two years actually come to pass. So I don't take it lightly. Uh, I have to say that quite seriously. I don't take it lightly. I believe something may very well go down on this coming Friday in Israel. I'll be praying for the Jewish people. Uh, we, we definitely need your prayers. Pray for the return of Israel. Pray for the ministry here and all of the saints around the world that are crying out for his return. Remember, one thing just to keep in mind, too, when we look at those that were sealed in the ancient days of Israel, we find that the Bible says those that sighed and cried day and night for the abominations that were done in the city, those were the ones that the angel with the inkhorn were commanded to go and seal, and the rest of them were to be slaughtered and killed. 
That's a tough thing to own up to or to, to measure up to is that type of life. God bless you. Hope to see you soon.